I'm Randy Vance. Today I'm running Crown Line's 280 CRX. Now this is a pocket cruiser that Crown Line has built previously with stern drives. Now it's outboard powered. It brings you a lot of cool new features. This boat has been retooled in many ways, but it still runs on a proven efficient hull, more efficient now with outboards. But the cabin below is where I want to focus a lot of attention. Now before we go down into the cabin, I want you to take a look at the cockpit, starting with the helm. The Garmin setup here is standard. The engines are talking to it, so all of our display information comes on the Garmin screen. Here we have our chart plotter set up, but you can customize all those screens to give you sonar, chart plotting, all in one image. You've got a nice arrangement of switches here, and they're the popular flush push button switches, which makes it easy to clean around them. You've also got dual electronic throttle and shift, and this boat is equipped with the Optimus 360 joystick control. You've also got an optional bow thruster on here, so there's absolutely no excuse for not looking like a pro when you come into the dock. Now the double wide helm seat gives you plenty of room to have a companion next to you as you're cruising across the waterways. The flip up bolster gives you added elevation so that when you're in port where you need more visibility or you're getting ready to take off and you wanna be able to see over that bow rise, you have it. Tuck it back down and you have a nice comfortable loungy type seat. On the port side, there's a lounge that faces aft. You've also got a freshwater sink or you can use it for cool drinks and ice them down there. Now as you step back, you've got an enormous sun pad there and the seat back electrically moves fore and aft. That gives you an aft facing lounge with an elevated headrest or it goes up and that gives you a forward facing couch with seating behind it. Now you've got a two-tier swim platform aft, and one of the things that's really cool about Crown Line is that on the port side, they have an electrically actuated ladder and platform that slides right out of the hull. Once it does, you have a four-step ladder. You've also got a boarding handle that pops out of the deck to make getting back aboard really easy. You can deploy that electrically from within the boat or even outside, there's an electric button there as well. When you're cruising with family and friends, there's plenty of places to store gear on this boat. Underneath the sun lounge is an enormous compartment, and you've got compartments underneath the forward berth as well. One of the nice things about a pocket cruiser is the performance. This one's equipped with dual Mercury 225s. You can also have it equipped with a single 400 and make nearly 50 miles an hour. With this setup, we're braking 50 easily. What I like about the dual engine, of course, you get the full benefit of the joystick steering, making docking a lot easier. To take full advantage of the performance on this boat, we recommend the optional tow pylon. It's a really nice feature. Now you can see here to the cabin entry, you've got double steps. That gets you up to the forward deck for anchoring. Look at it, it's all nicely covered in diamond non-skid. That makes footing secure when you do your anchoring work. You've also got a safety rail all the way around. Now it's four steps down to the sole in the cabin. Once you're there, you'll notice that they've replaced carpet with a wood flooring that's really elegant and very nautical in style. I like the wraparound V berth up front. You've got a center filler cushion that can either be a cocktail table or complete the berth. You've got a galley on the port side that's got a microwave and a refrigerator, room for a coffee maker. All your switching and everything to control the systems on board are right there. And one of the nicest new features on board is the extra wide entrance to the midship berth. That means you can sleep four people comfortably in this boat. Now because this boat happens to be Crown Line's dealer meeting prototype for 2024, it's got practically every option on it known to man. So you'll want to check with your dealer when you go to select the equipment that you want. But our cabin here is air conditioned. We also have a gen set down below, and I wanna show you the easy access that you have to all the machinery down below underneath the sun pad. It lifts up electrically, giving you full access to pumps, generator, batteries, everything, and then it shuts tight electrically as well. Now to add to the long range cruising comfort on the CRX 280, you've got a head compartment on the starboard side. It's got a china toilet in it, a freshwater sink, and the water spigot is a pull-out shower, so you've got a full-featured head compartment. One thing you don't want to forget is that there's plenty of color options so that you can customize this boat to your particular style. 
Also go for the radar arch. It's electrically actuated so it can drop down for easier storage and bridge clearance. Now the 280CRX brings plenty of performance, luxury cruising, and water sports fun. It's everything a family needs or a couple couples to have a nice trip over the weekend. The nice thing about a pocket cruiser is you can trailer it if you want to, put it on a lift in your backyard, or keep it at a dry stack marina conveniently. Whatever you do, it'll be ready for you and your family for a lifetime of cruising fun. I'm Randy Vance on Crown Lines 280 CRX.